Hi, welcome back to the Backyard Woodshop. I'm Tom Ryder. Today we're going to be doing a unpackaging setup and then a review on the Cobalt six and a quarter inch block plane. I'm going to take you through what I do to get a plane ready for service. Well, obviously the first thing we need to do is get it out of the package. So I got these paramedic type scissors that I like, and they, boy, they just go right through plastic like hot butter. So let's get this thing off of here if we can. And then, looks like I've got a couple buttons to pop. All right, and I think we can get the plane out. If I can get the plane out, uh, I'll be good. Oh, and there we go. And it looks like we've got some instructions probably. And there we go. Well, uh, there's a few places on here that look a little rough where they didn't finish the milling process um, right here and here but doesn't really look too bad other than that uh, it's got the adjustable front here which is nice which I like mine a little bit tighter but from what I can tell, it doesn't look too bad. Here are the directions that came in the package. It's quite simple. One on each page. Gives you a little thing about honing the blade. So, uh, not much to it. It says the uh, maintenance, things like that, just to lightly oil all the parts. And, uh, like some, they say to lay the plane on its side. Some people like it on its face. I won't get into that argument. I generally put mine on the side if you're wanting to know where I stand. All right, just to give you kind of what I do here. So first thing obviously we want to do is pop this cap off. Then I'm going to take and take a, I don't know if you can see it by the camera, but this blade is just covered in oil, just like everything is because that's the way it was shipped, which is good, keeps the rust away. But now we need to wipe all this excess off because that's just gonna gum up everything over time with sawdust and things like that so let me go ahead off camera clean all everything up real just quick. in the initial look of the blade it's very sharp but it's a very coarse grind but it is sharp this is this blade is right out of the package you can kind of see how rough it is. It's sharp, but it's just a real jagged sharp. I haven't done anything to the blade yet. I'm still experimenting. I sided down the sole like this to kind of get the blade rough, roughly set. So, if you're just wanting to do like chamfers and things like that on the edge, I think this plane is ready to go right out of the package. You wouldn't really have much trouble, but you're wanting to take down the flatter areas it'll do it I mean this is not the worst shaving I've ever seen on a on a plane but it doesn't really leave a very smooth surface because of the way that blade is sharpened so all right guys one of the first things we want to do is you want to keep your blade under tension and then you want to lay a straight edge across it and see if you can see any light which I see a little bit of light but not much I don't I don't think this is uh, anything that I can't accept for what we're doing with it all right what I'm gonna do here is uh, just kind of lap my blade here a little bit Let's see. See if I'm getting good contact, which it looks like I'm just touching on the outer two edges. So right now, hoping it'll focus in so you can see, it's only getting the outer two edges. So that means this blade is a little dished. So we're gonna we're gonna keep working at it and get this fixed. Alright, just like that, we've got it all 
polished across here. Now the next step I need to do is to get the back flat. You can go either way. I'm sure everybody has their own methods and this is not a sharpening tutorial. It's just how I do it. I've got different diamond stones that I use plus uh, a few other leathers and compounds. And that's pretty much all you do back and forth until you get the desired edge you're looking for. And I think we've got it. Yep. All the scratches look pretty consistent. So this blade really didn't take much work to get to this point. Been working at flattening this blade. I think I've pretty much got it, and I'm going to show you how you can really tell. One is you can look at it with your eye, and that's all good, but if you just stop and let it go, keep pushing it towards the edge, if it doesn't want to fall off, and when you pull it, it suctions to the stone or the diamond then I think you pretty much got all your scratches out of it and you can see how polished this is now this is um, I think this is a fine stone which I think is like 800 or a thousand grit something like that I don't really get all into that and then I've got my extra fine here and my lapping fluid is very expensive stuff it's dollar store Windex a little tip for you works great never had an issue with it so then you're just polishing this up until you get a nice gloss then when you let it go you know for sure it's flat you really don't need to go crazy and I can pretty much see my thumb in there so you can see a reflection I think you're pretty good this isn't really a big sharpening tutorial or anything I'm just showing you my method um, just showing you how this cobalt blade is going to work out so all I do is I've got a piece of leather and I charge it with some compound when I'm done I kind of just do half and half and then I just basically drag it back a little bit and you're just knocking that little bit of a burr off and boy when you get it, it is <laughs> really sharp alright check this plane out, I've got it all sharpened up there. I tell you, the difference by sharpening the blade, I mean, that, that's ready for finish. That is just glass smooth. And uh, that's the big difference if you're just going to buy it and use it right out of the package. Uh, I really do think you should touch up the blade. Make a few minor adjustments. Um, I, I adjusted the lever cap screw just slightly to make it just the right tension. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, I hope I've shown you a little bit about this cobalt plane. $15, my recommendation is get one. Uh, it really works well. I, once I've sharpened the blade to where I like it, it worked even better, but it worked great right out of the package. Um, so if you're somebody that's just needing to uh, round over a few corners by hand, this would be a great purchase for $15. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Uh, if you need to email me, it's at backyardwoodshop at gmail.com. And until next time, I see you in the backyard.